Hi there, this is Nadav Brill from Brill Studio. Um, I'm here to make a quick overview of the ShaderMonger uh, interface. So, what we have are uh, a couple of options. First off, we have the file menu, uh, which we can go straight to our shader lib, shader library. Uh, we can explore our HDRI directory, and then we have our edit, which um, gives us the options for individual shaders. Like we can select individual shaders and then apply stuff to them, move them, delete them, import them into scene, and so forth. Um, a very unique um, feature we've added recently is the lighting, which will create a, an IBL from um, our library or your own custom library. This uh, actually saves you all the time of setting things up and even waiting for render globals to load up. It's just written hard-coded. Uh, so this is a very cute feature. Uh, we have the preferences menu, which um, you can set your main library path, uh, your IBL library path. You can create a template for the custom templates. Uh, you can edit a template, the one you already have or you can um, set up your online publishing settings accordingly. Um, everybody's online settings is generic. Um, the other thing is uh, you have the share online which gives you our share online menu which you can share directly to our website. Um, any shader packs it up <laughs> even with um, textures and so forth. This is very very easy procedure. Um, and you have the help menu. Now you have a selection between two libraries. One is the current project and the other is the main library. The main library is where you can back up all your shaders and just keep them at a certain place, back everything up. This is very, very useful if you want to maintain your own huge library from all your current, all your projects. So this would be a, a current project based library and this would be a main library of course you can change them um, as you see fit. Um, in current projects you can set your project like this and, and then it will load the shaders within that project and you can uh, actually move between them so uh, if I have this I have a new project or a test project if this would be your main directory these would be all your subdirectories and you can just walk through between those libraries and import um, and apply shaders to it. Um, this would be our template buttons section where you can choose shader manga, our, our own template, you can use your own custom if you right click on that you can also go to creation of template from scene or uh, edit template um, for instance if you use the template as you can see you can just pick your object select that, press next and that would be your template, your custom template. And you have three primitives to just render from them. This is the main button that extracts shaders from objects. These are uh, utility buttons for closing and opening groups. Uh, a cool hypershade um, quick link and a cool global, render globals quick link as well. And that's about it. This is the overview. Thank you very much for listening.